What's going on everybody? So today I'm going to be uh, repainting the garage walls and then not in this video but in another we'll be doing the garage floor. As you can see it's incomplete. Uh, we got two Rust-Oleum kits to do the garage floor but uh, these black walls absorb a lot of light and we want this garage as bright as possible. So that way whenever I'm working on things or painting um, the light will reflect off the white wall not the black wall and it'll make it a little bit brighter in here. So I'm going to have to move all of this stuff away from the wall uh, put it all on this side of the garage. That way I can focus on um, this wall. And then once this wall is complete, we'll move everything over here. I won't set it up against the wall because obviously the paint will still be wet. Um, then we'll go over here, do the same over here to the work area. Everything's a huge mess right now. So this is a great time for me to kind of organize things and um, stuff like that. Anyways, uh, with that aside, I'm going to go ahead and set this up on the tripod and then we can uh, start tearing all this stuff out. Uh, my security camera wiring will have to be removed as well. It's not secured properly anyways, but um, we'll end up securing it up top with the proper mounting and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with this and uh, we'll go from there. And yes, I am wearing holy jeans. Uh, these are my bad pants. I don't wanna ruin good ones. And I'll be changing my shirt because this is one of my favorite Texas grunt style shirts. Um, so that whenever we paint, I don't ruin my clothes. But these pants are trash anyways, so I figured it's perfect to wear whenever painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and get stuff moved.
Definitely looks a lot better than the black did. Really bright in here now. Uh, I did take three coats, thick coats, and on the first coat I was kind of just screwing around and then on the second I found a method that works and I just carried through. Uh, my wife came in and helped me so really thankful for her. Uh, she got the baseboards and all of the edges which helped a lot. Uh, on camera I didn't get, get this on camera but you can see the security um, camera wiring is all uh, nailed up there with the little, I don't know, they're like U-shaped things with nails in them. I can't think of the proper name. But uh, we got the valve cover on the wall to hang keys from that she made on her channel, the More DIY channel. We did end up putting a new outlet in because there wasn't one there, uh, but I didn't do a video of that. But yeah, it's looking really good. It's really nice and organized. Um, so I'll be able to get to everything quickly whenever I'm working on stuff. But when we go to do the garage floors, that will have to be pushed up there. Um, that way it doesn't ruin the garage floor painting. And I really liked my wife's idea of putting the curtains here to block off the washer and dryer. I think it just looks a little bit cleaner and more like a garage in here and less like a house garage, which that's what this is. It's a house garage, but I just like that. It's like conceals it. Um, this wall does have some spots that probably need another coat, but we ran out of paint. Uh, we did three coats on everything, so this thing actually I think got four coats, but uh, I think it looks pretty good overall. You can't really tell unless you're really particular. Um, but in the next video, we'll be doing the Rust-Oleum garage floor uh, kit right here. I got this from Home Base, which is basically like a Home Depot. And uh, then we will be doing in an upcoming video, the second coat of Raptor liner on my car. Um, which I will actually be molding the wing in using fiberglass. Uh, it'll be like fiberglass Bondo or Bondo glass, whatever they want to call it. It's really strong stuff and I prefer to use that and I know how to use it. That's why I'm using it. But uh, we'll be doing the second coat coming soon and then just basically have other things up here. The rest of the stuff that was out here is now in the shed locked up. So if I need it, I can just go grab it. 
but definitely brighter and great space to work now. And now nobody can complain that there's not enough lighting or whatever. So definitely have enough lighting. And once we finish the garage floors, it'll be even brighter in here, which is just another bonus. Um, but I will have to get down and hand sand these with a, probably just a palm sander like my Black & Decker or whatever uh, with 80 grit or 60 grit just to kind of smooth all that out and knock off any loose spots because someone did it wrong. They probably didn't clean it before they did it. But uh, I've got some erratic acid so we can etch the concrete as well and Rust-Oleum floor cleaner. So the next video will definitely be the floors which should be coming out shortly after this one. Um, obviously I haven't done it yet, but uh, it'll probably take a few days and then we can have another video out. But uh, appreciate you guys coming and watching the transformation of the garage and seeing how it went from really dark and dingy to this bright workspace that I can actually enjoy now. So there will be definitely tons of content now. Um, don't forget to hit the like button. It helps a lot in the channel and it helps the channel grow. I know I haven't been posting a lot lately, but I'm going to try my hardest to get more content out for you guys. Keep hitting the like button on the videos, dropping comments and sharing the videos. It helps tremendously, but I'm going to go in. I need a shower and uh, I'm going to relax and try to get this video edited for you guys. So until next time, God bless, stay safe, stay awesome.